Ben-Hadad listened to King Asa and sent the captains of his armies against the cities of Israel, and struck Ijon, and Dan, and abel beth and all Chinneroth, with all the land of Naphtali. When Basha heard of it, he stopped building Ramah, and lived in Tizra. Then King Asa made a proclamation to all Judah. No one was exempted. They carried away the stones of Ramah and its timber with which Basha had built, and King Asa used it to build Geba of Benjamin and Mizpah. Now the rest of all the acts of Asa and all his might and all that he did and the cities which he built, aren't they written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? But in the time of his old age, he was diseased in his feet. Asa slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in his father David's city, and Jehoshaphat his son reigned in his place. Nadab the son of Jeroboam began to reign over Israel in the second year of Asa king of Judah, and he reigned over Israel two years. He did that which was evil in Yahweh's sight and walked in the way of his father and in his sin with which he made Israel to sin. Basha, the son of Ahijah of the house of Issachar conspired against him and Basha struck him at Gibbethon which belonged to the Philistines for Nadab and all Israel were besieging Gibbethon. Even in the third year of Asa king of Judah, Basha killed him and reigned in his place. As soon as he was king, he struck all the house of Jeroboam. He didn't leave to Jeroboam any who breathed until he had destroyed him according to the saying of Yahweh, which he spoke by his servant Ahijah the Shilonite for the sins of Jeroboam which he sinned and with which he made Israel to sin, because of his provocation with which he provoked Yahweh, the God of Israel, to anger. Now the rest of the acts of Nadab and all that he did, aren't they written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? There was war between Asa and Basha, king of Israel, all their days. In the third year of Asa, king of Judah, Basha the son of Ahijah began to reign over all Israel in Tizra for twenty-four years. He did that which was evil in Yahweh's sight, and walked in the way of Jeroboam, and in his sin with which he made Israel to sin.